Pastor Mark here. Thanks for coming back on this beautiful, clear day in Minnesota, albeit cold. Uh, I want to read for you today. It's called Mary's Song of Praise. It's from Luke, and we usually read it during, you know, Advent and Christmas, but it's always good to revisit this frequently. Uh, Luke chapter 1. My soul magnifies the Lord. This is Mary speaking. And my spirit rejoices in God, my Savior, for he has looked with favor on the lowliness of his servant. Surely from now on all generations will call me blessed, for the Mighty One has done great things for me, and holy is his name. His mercy is for those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm, and he has scattered the proud in the thoughts of their hearts. He has brought down the powerful from their thrones and lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. He has helped his servant Israel in remembrance of his mercy, according to the promise he made to our ancestors, to Abraham and to his descendants forever. The people of Israel were waiting for God to complete those promises made from years ago. And Mary saw these coming to fruition in Jesus. So I think that is the, our hope, that fulfillment of promises comes through all the time. As Mary anticipated them with the coming of the birth of Jesus, we anticipate because still in our days to days, there are injustices, there are mighty who are corrupt, and there are the lowly that we need to lift up. So Mary's song of praise is still vital for us today to live by her example of faith and love and forgiveness. Hope you're doing well in this new year. Looking forward to many good things to come. So today, stay safe, stay well. Keep praying. Take good care.